folks, my name is Savannah and you're watching Nerdy Cat 96. I'm here to show you my potential TBR for the month of October. Most of these books I'm like pretty much like for sure gonna read and then I'll show you some potential ones that I will decide between during the month of October because I definitely need to read at least one spooky book. If I fail at that in the month of October when one of my favorite genres is horror and like scary things like I love horror movies. I'm gonna be very upset with myself but let's start with the books that I'm pretty much for sure gonna read and then we'll get into the potentials. Um, I'm gonna start with two that I'm actually in the middle of reading that I started reading in the month of September and the first one that I am hopefully going to finish reading first is The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. The next book that I started in September and didn't finish is popular. How a Geek in Pearls Discovered the Secret to Confidence and it's a memoir by Maya Van Wagenen, or Wagenen, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. The third book that I really want to read before the movie comes out this month is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I think the movie comes out everywhere, in theaters everywhere on October 19th. So as long as I can get this read before that, I'll be happy. And the next two books that I have to show you are books that I'm going to have to read for school this month. Um, the first one is When I Crossed No Bob by Margaret McMullen, and the second one is Hounded by Kevin Hearn. The next five books I'm going to try to read on audiobook, um, and they're all rereads, so it shouldn't be that hard because I can listen to it at super high speeds. I just want to make sure that I didn't forget anything before I go into the last book, which is coming out this month. And I also want to see if there's any foreshadowing that I can pick up on now that I have read all of this, the books in the series so far and then like reading them the second time so that I can kind of see if I can put together a theory on what is going to happen in the last book. I'm really hoping to do that anyway, but maybe I won't pick up on anything extra. So the first book I have already started this month um, and that is The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. So you can probably guess the other books. Then we've got Air of Fire, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, and Tower of Dawn. And then the next books that I am um, definitely going to be reading this month are part of a read-along that I'm doing. The unfortunate read-along. Ow, my wrist. <laughs> it's very heavy. There are 13 more books. They are all middle grade that I'm going to be reading. And you probably know what they are. <laughs> the Bad Beginning by Lemony Snicket. The Reptile Room, The Wide Window, The Miserable Mill, The Austere Academy, The Ersatz Elevator, The Vile Village, The Hostile Hospital, The Carnivorous Carnival, The Slippery Slope, The Grim Grotto, The Penultimate Peril, and The End. So obviously that is the entire series of unfortunate events and I am going to be reading that this month. If you were curious at all about the unfortunate read-along, there's a group chat on Twitter that you can become a part of, so just like follow the unfortunate read-along. So I'll leave the link to the Twitter, I'll leave the link Not So Average Joe's video about it, and also Chapter Kate's video about it. So if you're interested in either of those, please go check them out. I love those ladies. They are wonderful. Their videos are amazing. So as for things that I might potentially read this month, so pretty much this whole shelf down here is open for me to pick books from because these are all of like the paranormal and horror books that I have left that I haven't read on my shelf. This is the one that I actually like almost for sure want to read. This one is a compilation of Stephen King's short stories and it is The Bazaar of Bad Dreams. And okay, first of all, I'm just gonna say it, this cover is gorgeous. I read his other, or another compilation of short stories that he wrote called Full Dark No Stars, and that is probably my favorite Stephen King book so far, so I figure I will enjoy his other short stories a lot as well. So this is probably my top choice for spooky books that I wanna read. Oh my gosh, I already forgot. <laughs> I forgot to mention, so I'm rereading this whole Sarah J Mass series because <laughs> the last book, Kingdom of Ash, is coming out this month 
October 23rd, and I pre-ordered it. Just throwing that out there, and now we'll get back to the spooky books. Yeah, this is probably my top choice. I don't really imagine myself picking up anything else over this, but if I somehow have time after all of this and this, then my top choices are Mr. Mercedes, by, also by Stephen King, The Shining, also by Stephen King, Bag of Bones by Stephen King, Desperation by Stephen King. So clearly Stephen King is like the highest on my list of spooky books to read and most of the spooky books that I have are by Stephen King so to be fair probably my last choice but if I'm really feeling like something more paranormal than like horror I'm going to read The Appearance of Annie Van Sinderen by Katherine Howe. This was a dollar store find. I really just like saying that so that later if I really enjoyed the book I can be like hey Here's a book that was only a dollar that I absolutely loved, so you can find cool stuff at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> you know, we'll see. I found a lot of duds there too, so. <laughs> it's gonna be a very busy month. Thank you so much for watching. I make videos every Wednesday. If you wanna check out my social media, I will leave all of those links down in the description. And hopefully the cats and I will see you next week. Have a lovely day. Bye!